New York City declared a state of emergency today because of overcrowding at shelters from the influx of asylum seekers and the Democrat mayor of New York blames the Republican governor of Texas. But in reality, the Democrat leaders of El Paso on their own have sent more than twice as many asylum seekers to New York City than Governor Abbott has. El Paso has sent almost 7,300, which they coordinated with New York. Governor Abbott has sent just over 3,000. Fox 4 Stephen Dial has more tonight. Stephen. The New York City shelter is at record capacity. According to the mayor, more than 61,000 people in that number, some thousands of asylum seekers from Texas. Mayor Eric Adams in New York didn't name drop Governor Greg Abbott, but he called this a political manufactured crisis. Today, I am declaring a state of emergency in the city of New York. For months, Texas Governor Greg Abbott has sent asylum seekers to Democrat-led Chicago, Washington, D.C., and New York. Friday, New York City Mayor Eric Adams said the city shelter system is at record levels, more than 61,000 people. That includes homeless and now thousands of asylum seekers from Texas and other states. And it is being accelerated by American political dynamics. Thousands of asylum seekers have been bussed into New York City and simply dropped off without notice, coordination, or care. Friday, nine buses came to the city. Adam says on average, five buses arrive daily. The total cost to the city about $1 billion for this fiscal year. In response to the emergency order, Governor Greg Abbott's spokesperson told Fox 4, quote, Mayor Adams is an absolute hypocrite. Instead of fear-mongering and complaining about a few thousand migrants in his sanctuary city, Mayor Adams should call on President Biden to do his job and secure the border, something the president continues failing to do. So far, Governor Abbott's bus program has sent more than 3,000 asylum seekers to New York. Abbott spoke to KLTV in Tyler Friday. The least we can do is to help out those small communities by uh, removing that burden from them and sending them to sanctuary cities. New York, Washington, D.C., and Chicago are self-declared sanctuary cities of millions of people with far more capabilities of dealing with these migrants uh, than these small little towns on the border. While Democrats have accused Governor Abbott of using asylum seekers as political pawns, what has not been widely reported is what's happening in Democrat-led El Paso. Since August, the city has sent more than 7,000 asylum seekers to New York, more than twice as many as Governor Abbott. But Democrats have not criticized fellow Democrats. In a statement, the city of El Paso told Fox 4, the migrants are selecting New York City and various other locations. El Paso and the Office of Emergency Management is providing assistance to migrants in the form of food, water, temporary shelter, first aid, and transportation. El Paso and the Office of Emergency Management is not selecting New York City, and no one is forced to go where they don't want to go. Mayor Adams says... They have turned 42 hotels into emergency shelters. They plan to open a larger emergency shelter soon, which has gotten some pushback from local leaders and residents. While he says some Republican lawmakers are playing politics, he did have this message for President Biden and the Democrat-led Congress. The time for aid to New York is now. We need help from the federal government, and we need a realistic decompression strategy at the border that will slow the outflow of asylum seekers. We need a coordinated effort to move asylum seekers to other cities in this country to ensure everyone is doing their part. So as you heard, Mayor Adams is saying, he's not necessarily saying don't bring them to other cities. He's actually saying take migrants, asylum seekers to multiple U.S. cities. Meanwhile, New York isn't the number one target so far for Governor Abbott's bus plan. That's Washington, D.C., more than 8,000 asylum seekers sent to the nation's capital.